I don't know what her plan was here to be honest because he do that to most men let alone a straw weight female fighter. I think a lot of people get the impression that sumo wrestlers are just fat but a lot of the top fighters are actually really strong so you combine that of the body weight and you're pretty fucked. Take a look at this. So I was drilling chokes with my female student and one of the boxers interrupted us. After instigating his male ego and giving her a nice pep talk and believing in her, what ensued was mayhem. She gets a hold of him and chokes him right. The commotion makes another boxer come in. Maybe he was trying to flirt whatever, but to his shock, she's dangerous. She chokes him out. Another boxer comes in thinking everyone's being too nice, trying to flirt. So he tries his hardest, right? He gets choked out. So another boxer is like, okay, this gotta be hype. What's going on? And of course, he gets choked out. Despite all this, she was still being underestimated until she got a hold of his neck. This right here is the power of jujitsu against an untrained opponent. This is what the art is for. Afterwards, we all hung out, the boys was wrestling, the mat was filled, it was like a cookout. Now, if they were able to swing it, it'd be a whole different story, but this is still really good to see. They can train together and have a bit of fun, but I tell you what, it's a humbling experience training against someone that does jujitsu because you're like a fish out of water if you don't know what you're doing. And I've seen this woman going up against other women in competitions on TikTok, and I don't think I've seen her lose. But let's see what happens when she goes against her trainer. We got challenged by the little track team to run a little 4 on 1. Football players versus track team. Damn. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Okay! Okay! Come on! Come on! I am not running that far! I don't know if you know this, but the men actually dropped the baton and they still smashed them. This is the only time we should be seeing men compete against women in sports when it's for fun. When it's in competition, it should never happen. It's not fair on female athletes because otherwise things like this happen. There was a, a case where a man who had been a man for 30 years became a woman for a little less than two years and then started MMA fighting women. Yes, beating, exactly, exactly. Beating the f 
fuck out of these women and Shocker. not and not proclaiming that he or she used to be a man because what in quotes it was a medical condition that I did not need to disclose like that's not a medical condition right and if you ever watch the fights she was like wasn't the Fal winning. Is Fallon Fox yes. or, yeah she yeah. wasn't winning because she was skillful she was and manhandling these women. It was ugly. This girl was injured by a trans volleyball player. Here's what happened. Peyton McNabb, a high school volleyball player, was struck in the face by a volleyball. That volleyball was spiked by a trans player on the opposing team. McNabb told lawmakers in a state hearing that she suffered both a concussion and a neck injury. She said that, quote, allowing biological males to compete against biological females is dangerous. And because of her testimony, the North Carolina Senate passed the Fairness in Women's Sports Act, which allows competition only between girls who are born as girls. Right now, over 20 states have banned transgender youth from competing in school sports. Californian high school athlete gave a thumbs down after losing to a transgender competitor. Adeline Johnson took fourth place and lost her shot at the state finals. There's a girl not going to state because of a boy. Right now, because, just because happened. Just happened. Maryland there, that's winning. Just went to state. Really? Took a yeah, just now. Ten minutes ago. Shut up. Took a girl spot. Athena Ryan, the trans-identifying male runner who pushed Johnson out, came second place and will continue competing at the next level. Protesters brought protect female sports signs to the stadium, but were removed after clashing with security. And you still came in a second, bruv, but seriously, it's not fair. There's women actually losing opportunities because of this. But luckily, the World Athletics have actually put their foot down and grown a pair. Take a look at this. World Athletics will ban some transgender women from competing in female events. Transgender women who have been through male puberty will be excluded from female events as of next week. Also, athletes with innate variations in sex characteristics, who sometimes use the term intersex, who wish to compete in any female event will need to reduce their testosterone below a specified level for two years, or six months in the case of current athletes. World Athletics President Sebastian Coe said the decision was difficult, but said they wanted to quote, prioritize fairness before inclusion. World Athletics says it has years of research and evidence documenting the physical advantages of athletes with innate variations in sex characteristics. The decision follows similar moves made by first World Rugby in 2020 and the World Swimming Body last year. Stonewall, a prominent UK-based LGBTQI plus advocacy organization, called it quote, so disappointing. Their own statement recognizes that there are no trans women competing at an international level and that they have no specific evidence to justify the ban. It's very simple. If you're a man, you compete against men. If you're a woman, you compete against women. If you don't agree with that and you think that's really bad or that's discrimination, get some help.